heart, no b- All right, what is up, guys? Uh, Steve and I are going up to a Friday night ride uh, that Ty is putting on. We uh, brought the naked bikes out. I'm on my GSXS 750, and Steve's on his uh, Z900. Friday, obviously, I said that, but it's Friday. It's like 85 degrees, so uh, it should be a beautiful ride. Like, hopefully, hopefully, everybody's chill, but. We've got Mason and Clay meeting us up here for the ride. Um, and then Steve's got a couple people coming. Should be fun. I mean, we brought the Naked Bikes out, so we're gonna be chill. Not to say everybody else won't be a little crazy, but I figured I'd bring this bike out because, well, I'll leave it for when we're riding with the guys. I wanna tell you guys why I'm choosing to ride this bike a little bit more, why I'm not on the S1K, because typically if I go to a car meet or a big ride like this, I mean, granted, you never know how big these rides are gonna be, but. If I go on a ride like this, typically I take my S1000. This bike is so comfortable though. Like, I know, obviously it's two different styles of riding, but my S1000 for a super bike is super comfortable, but it's nothing like this. Like, the amount of cushion that my butt cheeks have is insane. In comparison to my S1K, I haven't ridden a lot of other bikes. I've ridden uh, GSX-R1000, two of them. This bike, my S1K, I've ridden Steve's S1K which his has the M seat on it, so it's a little bit different. Um, I've ridden my brother's GSX S750, my dad's the XXR, uh, my little brother's old R7, which really his R7 was more of a committed riding position than my S1000 ever was, so, or you know what I mean. But we should be pulling up on the meat spot right up here in a second. Pretty sure it's right up here at this Kroger because they changed it. Oh. How's it going, man? I appreciate it. I think we're going to Bucky's. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I mean, I've got a plate, and I'm staying in the back, so I'll pull over. I don't have a plate, but I have a plate. <gasps> you don't need a plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. We got a lot more now, so we got Cam's new uh, ZX-10R. It looks sick, man. Uh, yeah, bro, I don't know what a lot of these bikes are. I'm going to be real with you, but we got Clay's R1, uh, Mason's GSX R1000. You guys have seen this on the channel. We've seen his. So clean, man. These bikes are done right. <laughs> I had to instigate. Why? I don't know why everybody's got a rev, though, for real. Like, if I had my S1K, we'd just shut it down. Oh, my God. This is <laughs> ignorant. But that's why we come on these rides, to show you all what's going on. A lot of bikes, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna stay in the back and chill. That is a lot of bikes for a random Friday night. This might be, it's more or a similar amount than what we had last time. This is why I like staying in the back though, so I can show you guys like what's going on and I can talk and be chill. I mean, look at all these bikes. It's insane. But like I said, the topic that I wanted to cover on this video is uh, why I brought the GSX-S750 out and I've talked a little bit about it before like what the purpose of this bike was but i've never i've kind of deviated away from what i said i was going to do so the purpose of this bike initially was to you know keep miles off my s1000 and have a, a dedicated daily bike i steered away from that a little bit i've gone on so many group rides lately and uh car events lately that have just been taking the s1k everywhere i'm really trying to you know take the gsx s750 out for what i bought it for you know i bought it as a daily bike keep miles off my s1k keep my s1k nice and uh then in turn, I just went to a bunch of car meets and rides and then just took my S1K. And I haven't rode this bike in a minute. I mean, besides the one time I took it out with, you know, like the guys I normally ride with, I haven't taken it out. So I'm gonna start bringing this bike out a lot more and then using my S1K solely for car events. That's the plan. That's why I brought it out this time because I used to, I mean, that's what I bought it for, you know, was to do, you know rides like this on and daily ride ride to work and stuff like that and then it just never really happened i'm trying to stick to what i said i was going to do with it because i would ride my s1k every single day forever but it's not going to last that long and the service on it's more expensive than this more of a hassle to continuously ride that bike damn do they look good look at that bike uh but you know i'm going to save my s1k for just car meets and stuff like that and then this bike is what i'm going to take everywhere else this is why i don't like group rides they're just weaving in and out up there and i don't i don't even know if they told us where we're going to be 100 percent honest with you i don't know what the the deal is with the uh 
and I don't know how well you guys can see it, but the stuffed animals on the back of these bikes, but uh, a lot of people have them, and I don't know what it's for. But that's literally the only reason I bought this bike, was to keep the longevity of my S1K and like keep it nice and you know, ride this bike every day. This bike costs like more than half than my S1K does, so that's the purpose of it, is to beat the hell out of it, ride it all the time, and uh, keep the miles and the maintenance and all the stuff that comes with it off my S1K. Don't get me wrong, like I said, I would ride my S1K all the time, but I just can't do that. It's just not worth it. And I'll be honest right now, like, the views on my YouTube channel aren't doing enough to, uh, aren't doing well enough to just keep riding an S1K all the time. Financially, it doesn't make sense, so. That bike looks so good. <laughs> I love the S1Ks, you know I do. It's the best bike that you can buy for your money. But, you know, like I was saying, to ride every day, it doesn't, it's, I've tried to make it an everyday bike, and I mean, you can, but financially, it makes more sense for to buy another bike and make it your daily bike than riding the S1K all the time. You guys will still see my S1K on the channel. I didn't get rid of it. I still have it. It's sitting pretty in the garage. I just, uh, I'm gonna start riding this one more. It's a ZX-10. Man, those ZX-10 front ends are really growing on me. Especially since I've seen cams. Maybe I need to start riding other bikes more because like, that ZX-10 looks sick. I mean, Mason, I didn't think I would like a GSX-R1000, but I rode his bike and it's freaking awesome. I don't know if Clay would let me ride his R1, but I'd swap him with my S1K for a minute. I need to let Mason ride my S1K. Look at this. This will be my thumbnail right here, look. That's crazy. All these bikes. That CF Moto sounds. Listen to that. That sounds insane. This dude can ride that CF Moto. I know you guys have seen him probably in the videos and stuff before, but he's actually works at the Indian dealer, which is becoming a BMW uh, like dealer as well, like a motorrad spot. So I'm gonna take my BMW up to them and just let them take care of it. He's on a mower. The things that you see in Kentucky, bro. But yeah, so my whole point in bringing you guys along. Well, not bringing you guys along, but to make a topic for this video, just to let you know that, like, I'm going to be riding this bike more, and uh, you guys will still see the S1K. It's just tucked away in the garage, real nice and neat, and uh, just, it's only going to come out for special occasions, and if I just want to go for, like, a late evening night rip, or I just really, really want to ride it, because, yeah, that's what I bought this bike for, so this will be the bike that I ride daily. It's more comfortable you know it still does everything right it's still a sick bike so that's the plan anyway we'll see how it goes yeah this is what i like though like all of the guys that want to go fast and do hood rat stuff or up front and they just kind of left us and we steve knows where we're going so we're just kind of doing our own thing cruising up there that's a big point like you got to ride your own ride and i know everybody says that all the time but like we're back here enjoying ourselves just hanging out we don't have to be with the big group they can go do their own thing and uh you can do yours always like i'd much rather just sit back like this that's why i don't go on a lot of group rides i mean if it wasn't for filming and uh and stuff like that i probably wouldn't go on any of them i'd just ride with you know the people i know and hang out you know it is nice to meet these guys and hang out, but I, I, my point is I'd, I'd much rather do this and just chill in the back and cruise. Like, just give me the route, we'll put it in our phone, and we'll chill. Yeah, the reason I don't go on a lot of group rides is because I'm trying to film and stuff, and they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and not everybody knows everybody, so you don't know how they ride. But I like what we got going on right now. This is nice. Dude, I seriously love this bike. It is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. Pause. It's still like for a naked bike. That's it, that's another reason why I bought this bike is because it's more of a full size bike than it is. Typically, naked bikes kind of look a little bit small and confined, and like they're thin and short. This one's got some girth, son. Oh damn! Somebody went down. This is why we don't come on these, man. Hopefully, he's okay. Yeah, there's a lot of gravel right here in this intersection. Damn, that sucks, dog. I don't even know. <sighs> Hopefully he's okay, man. <sighs> Damn, bro. I'm not gonna show any of this just for his respect for him, but man, that sucks. It looks like he's gonna be okay. It's just. Some, a hard hit. I think he hit the guardrail. Obviously, he went over and the bike didn't. Safe. 
See you, bro. Uh, Poils. My last name, P-O-Y-L-E-S. Just shoot me a message. I got you. Damn, that sucks, man. I mean, how do you, I don't know. Man, I hate to leave, but there's 40 or 50 people right there. So that'll be the last group ride I go on. I was just saying how everything like was going great. And uh, yeah, obviously it happened so fast, but man, if you see this for however reason or whatever reason you see this, let me know if you need something, bro. I'm happy to help. I think we're gonna cut that video here. Um, there's just nothing else I can say. It, it just sucks. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.